to this day, to this day, rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Right. Let's get this. Let's get the energy up. All right. I did. A Woo! Oh, 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 not that high up. You need to chill with that. <laughs> Need to put that energy away. Right, I'll bring it down a notch. Or... No, yeah, 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 right there, right. There. That's perfect. All right, good. Blow out the nigga eardrums and shit, man. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it is time. I am Bushido Spirit. Here I have Keek. Yo yo. And we are doing the boys review. The boys. The boys. Yes, the we, boys. We we miss episode the, the first couple episodes, first three episodes. We actually did a recording on that. But the shit never got uploaded because there were some audio issues. But uh, hopefully this one will will not have those same problems. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, I, I checked. I'm trying like, to make the uh, <laughs> oh, trying to make the best content for you guys, so you yeah. can't have no shitty audio. Exactly, I checked like eight times, so just to be safe, you know. All right, so it's the boys season two, episode four. Nothing like it in the world all right i know that was difficult for you to read bush but i'm glad you powered through wait hold up hold up you, you need to <laughs> stop <laughs> uh, well the issue is that I, I i wasn't reading it i was trying to predict what it was going to say so i wasn't really oh, right. <laughs> looking at the words I, oh, okay. I, I mean i do that from time to time you know i don't really be reading like most of the time like i'll be nine. i'll be guessing and, and when yeah. i could just read it uh, that throws me off. Look, my brain fucked up. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, rather rather than doing the uh, scene by scene recap that took like fucking hours uh, for like the Lovecraft <laughs> Country reviews, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just bring up some key points and we can discuss those key points. You know, this will be way right. easier, way more efficient, and uh, we we can probably have better conversations. And it's just, and it's less of a. Uh, it, of a, of a recap it is the recap just not taking over the whole episode the whole review so uh i got got a couple little notes here uh the first thing i wrote down was uh homelander gets over his obsession with Stillwell, and i'm referring but to does the, he though I, I, I don't know i'm referring to the scene with him and doppelganger uh so he had doppelganger turn into Stillwell, and in like the second scene of the episode he goes to like a lodge and uh Stillwell is there. And I'm thinking it's like a flashback. But uh in in that scene, <laughs> Doppelganger turns back at one point and he like go back to Stillwell, nigga. I don't want to see you like this. <laughs> but yeah, uh that was creepy. Yeah, well it was it was terrible. Then but <laughs> then towards the end of the episode, um he does the same thing, goes to the lodge, and Doppelganger is Stillwell. And this time he didn't he didn't want to have any of that. He didn't want to drink the titty milk. He seemed uncomfortable. Like, I, hope you bitch. <laughs> I don't need you no more. <laughs> he seemed uncomfortable. And then Doppelganger turns it to himself. Uh and he kills Doppelganger. Um and that that was me re- uh, that was me believing that he realized that hey, only person I need is myself. And if I depend on other people, it makes me weak. Right. <clears throat> but so I, I think a lot of that had to do with Stormfront getting into his head a little bit i don't know what her play with that whole spiel was i think she's just you know trying to use him a little bit oh uh, yeah, yeah we can talk about that one next uh so stormfront uh kind of her popularity is rising and he don't like that uh he got like i think the line was he got like 50 million people that follow him that cherish him that love him and she has like five million soldiers. That's how she referred to it as. Um, right. And her marketing team, her five niggas is <laughs> stronger than his thousands of people. <laughs> his marketing team. Yeah, they be team. memeing and shit. Yeah, they be memeing and shit. So he he did not like that at all. And like like you said, it may have caused him to go ahead and uh, off you know the homie doppelganger, who who was probably fucking everybody. This man this man is just turning into people. I remember when he fucked the congressman, and yeah. the congr- congressman was like, "Oh shit, this is good." It's like, "Oh, it's getting kind of tight." <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that. <laughs> and you see this fat, ball headed dude on top of him, man. So yeah, the doppelganger is 
a little bit he nasty. Be getting it in, huh? He be getting it. He probably yeah. He probably be getting it, and he enjoys it. Yeah. Like yeah, that that scene where uh <laughs> that scene where he turns into Homelander and offers to suck his dick, man. I'm like, okay. But it's not gay. It's not gay. (laughs) (laughs) If it's you. It's not gay if it's you. He was really into it. In this circumstance, it is is still gay. (laughs) Yeah, it is. He was really into that role play, though. He was really into that. So, And uh, Homelander killed him. You said, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to fully interpret this scene or what it what's the implications of it, what it actually means. Um, but I, I, I took it as him getting over Stillwell, his obsession with her. But you said it wasn't like that. No, I think um, he is just upgrading. He's replacing her with Stormfront, who's obviously more powerful and has, you know, a, a blunt personality, a directness about her. Yeah that may be attractive to him but he's also repulsed at the same time just because she does seem to be gaining more popularity than him and he always wants to be number one so yeah i don't know i think their relationship will be interesting going forward and we'll see and they kind of hinted at it like they would probably be romantically involved in like the trailer yeah it's like laser my tits you know (laughs) that that (laughs) scene in the trailer so yeah. It's probably they probably will be romantically involved at some point, just not right now. And yeah, he is kind of afraid of her as far as like, or intimidated by her, you know, the presence she has, how she isn't fully scared of him and doesn't care to do what he says. You know, she's like a rogue. Right. And uh, her, I mean, exactly. her, character, her character's pretty interesting. Let's move on to the next point here. Uh, Kimiko. So she is still struggling with the death of her brother and they, and they blamed all those people dying, you know, that, that Stormfront killed on her brother. So we hear the news talking about that. She's watching it and she's she's struggling. She's trying to get over it. She can't fully get over it. And your boy Frenchie, you know, tries to tries to make something happen. Tries to go in for the kiss. And she kind of pushes him away. Um Bad he, he, Yeah, he he clearly oversteps. Uh tries to take advantage of her mourning <laughs> to get some ass. And that don't work out for him. <laughs> That's <laughs> a little fucked up. Uh, so, how did you feel about their relationship this episode, or, or her uh, struggling to get over her brother's death? And she did at one point tried made an attempt to kill uh, Stormfront. Stormfront. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that there's been a little bit of tension between Kamiko and Frenchie since the very beginning. You can tell he, but Wait. he just chose the wrong time kind of show it but i think well, he's uh, you, you kind of you kind of cut out you kind of cut out a little bit there uh say it again oh really yeah yeah. Say it again. i think he's he's genuine in his feelings for her he just chose the wrong time to express it oh, okay yeah and then he went and fucked another bitch right after <laughs> to get over it so so maybe not i don't know <laughs> he just needed to wind but, uh, down man that other chick didn't mean nothing man he left her yeah. with, immediately for Kimiko. Like, I was like, where the hell did she go? She cl- she just disappeared from the story when he discovered Kimiko existed. So, yeah. <laughs> so he obviously so we'll don't care about her. She's just like a, a side piece, man. And I mean, she's okay yeah. with it too, man. She, she's aware that he is in, in love with Kimiko. Um, yeah. She tries to talk some sense into him. Like, she can, she can protect herself. She's not no cat in a tree. Uh, like stop it's hovering bad. over her, man. Yeah, give give her some <laughs> space, you know. Right, let her grieve in peace. <laughs> exactly. By man. herself. And he was like, nobody should grieve alone. <laughs> I was like, okay, nigga. <laughs> that shit right there. It's like okay. Everybody man. in America grieves alone. You need to you need to conform. Yeah, you need to figure that out, Frenchie man. <laughs> uh, also this episode we got our boys uh, Huey, uh, Mother's Milk, and Starlight. They go on a little road trip together. They are searching for information about Liberty. And you mentioned Liberty in the last review that g- didn't get uploaded. That didn't air. Yeah, yeah. that didn't air. <laughs> that she may become significant. Um, I'll be dropping gems and then we, we just don't upload. <laughs> I mean, they, they mentioned her in passing. I didn't really, uh, yeah. I, I didn't think too much but of I, it. I, um, I realized it was going to be significant just because it's like, why would you even bring it up in the first place? Yeah, it was yeah. Nothing. And uh, so. through through that uh, through that little hunt they went on to get information on Liberty, we find some uh, we get some information uh, on Mother's Milk. 
his uh, OCD and his uh, father, how his father was a lawyer and he uh, was fighting Vault. And Vault was like, get this nigga out of here. And they, <laughs> they went ahead and killed hey. him. So You gonna wear but, you down. But yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's interesting to me because um, it makes more sense. His motivation, you know, right? Right. Because before we thought he was just doing it for like Butcher. Going along with Butcher, yeah. Yeah, but, but he now, has his own, exactly. his own reasons to do it. And I, I, I'm glad that they got into that a little bit. So he's, you know, not so one dimensional. Because yeah. so far he's been like just the sidekick who wants to go back to his family. Yeah. But yeah. now they're just showing a little bit more, you know, of his character. Exactly. It seemed like he didn't want to do it at all. Two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, <laughs> and uh, of course, Hugh Wing and Starlight, they, 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 their relationship develops a little bit more. They uh, they find out that they got a lot of things in common. Um, and it's with this annoying ass scene in the car where they were singing the song uh, that pissed off Mother's Milk. Uh, also. Yeah, shit. they were being annoying as hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But the, the 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 biggest thing about this uh this this information this little area of discussion right here is that uh they go to a woman's house and it's a black woman so I'm thinking damn that's 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 a uh, liberty but it turns out she isn't liberty she's a victim of liberty so liberty kills her brother um for no no, <laughs> no reason at all it's just that it was it was Drive racial black exactly it was racial profiling. Um, she pulls up him out the car. Well, he gets out the car to see what's going on, and he just she just smashes his face in. Um, and they were like, "Okay, um, do you uh do you know what she looks like? Can you identify her?" And she points to a, a newspaper with a uh, Stormfront's image on it. So she is saying that Liberty is Stormfront. So that was the big reveal, uh, in that scene. So what did you think about that? Did you uh did you know that? Did you guess it? I actually did. Um, wow! I okay. knew that. <laughs> I knew that they were gonna play into Stormfront being racist and possibly nationalistic when she killed uh, Kamiko's brother, and she made a comment about him being the yellow bastard or something. Yeah, I, I, like, I knew oh, that part. They're, they're gonna play into that. Yeah, and her name they're is definitely gonna. <laughs> yeah, and her name is gonna make her a racist. <laughs> yeah true i mean her name is stormfront too i pointed out that shit last episode yeah. that's the name of a racist website um and i mean and they also pointed out that she was old as hell because the uh yeah. when she killed that that the woman they're talking to uh the black woman they're talking to was like she gotta be in her, her 50s 50s older. yeah she's older yeah. she's old as hell and uh you know liberty you know who was older than her at the time that she killed her brother is you know if she is Stormfront, she's young as, she's still young as hell, so she didn't lose anything. She didn't age at all. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know what's with that. They were saying that maybe uh, the Vault superhero formula might cause you to not age. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there any other heroes well, that we know of that has aged or didn't age? No, I mean, so Homelander, far she maybe. seems to be the oldest. Well, Homelander was a kid. Oh, yeah, you're and right. And he got older. We saw him when he was in a kid, and he was like in the laboratory or whatever but yeah. we haven't really seen anybody else as a kid so we don't know but i was thinking maybe the formula for compound be changed over the years and maybe uh like the first iteration of the formula had some anti-aging properties or something that could be the case uh that yeah that definitely could be the thing um definitely um uh i guess uh i'm trying to think what is the what else is there to say about that scene um yeah nothing really you know she's a racist um <laughs> <laughs> her name is stormfront her name used to be lady liberty and it's 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 what america is man you know yeah always hiding always using uh patriotism to hide racism man like uh, Homelander, Lady Liberty, <laughs> they, 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 they care, they care the least about uh, minorities, and they have these uh, fucking super patriotic names and shit. So that's interesting. Um, speaking of Homelander, oh, I, I, we already talked about that. We already went over that. We don't have to talk about that. I was gonna bring up the Stormfront interaction, but we already brought it up uh, yeah. through another scene. Um, 
Oh, your boy A Train, man. He gets kicked off out of the seven. Let's talk about dude. that. He gets replaced <laughs> by Shockwave. <laughs> like you can't, you can't. I don't hate know, him. dude. I just, I don't like A Train for some. I, I mean, you you hate him because he because he's he's uh, an asshole. I mean, he's an asshole, and also like he kills the protagonist's uh, girlfriend in the first episode. So right, yeah, that's probably why. Like he was just like fucking yeah. running, 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 running. <laughs> Yeah, but we we kind of see that he's really not. He's a fuck up, but he's really not as evil as we yeah. believe him to be at first. He's just a fuck up. He just goes he's along kinda with just lame. Homelander. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I don't. I mean, he he's out of the seven, so he has no loyalty to them anymore. Uh, I wonder what is he gonna do? Cause he he is the only person that knows about Starlight and uh yeah. Her uh, still being with Huey and betraying the Seven. I don't, I wonder if he will he help them? Will he join them? Like what? I don't know. How and what will he do? Where where is his purpose in the story now? Now that he's not with I the Seven, because that's all he has. He's worried more about chasing the bag than any. I think he has a lot of ob- obligations to his family and his his hangers on, and he has to figure out how he's gonna get this money. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. He is pressed for money. Um. I know. And I he think, can't even really run anymore. So he can still run, but like, like he did. He he has he lost winded. his belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's them drugs is fucking him up. He's a rockhead, so <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he's not rap, as fast. I mean, rap. you you would think that rock would make him faster, but uh, it, it made him it makes him slower, man. Yeah. I understand. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> they should they should have they should have played up the the rock aspect and made him faster, though. That should have been crazy. But uh, he's slower. Um, and yeah, like you mentioned, he might have a bunch of hanger on. So he got like the typical story of like a black athlete that um becomes popular and takes all of this money due to trying to help their family out. And he's sort of in that same situation. He's the one that made it out. And he cherishes money more because he grew up without having money. And we kind of see this through the dialogue he had with Starlight. Um, Starlight's all excited that they... They brought down Vault. They exposed that heroes are made from um, a formula. And they're not born with the powers. And he's like, man, this is going to fuck my money up. Right. <laughs> so, That's all he worried about. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of see his motivation uh, through that scene. Um, any Anything else you want to say about A-Train before we move on to somebody else here? Uh, No, not really. I'm over that nigga. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, damn. Honestly, I think he has <laughs> one of the least interesting storylines. Yeah, he kind of he kind of does. Deep, even the deep gets more like. Ah, uh, you know, speaking of the deep, we might as well dive into it. You know, no pun intended. <laughs> so he wasn't really in this episode, which is a good thing. So I don't really fuck with his character. He was cool he, at first. Wait, he was. Uh, he was looking for a, a wife. His, uh, cult yeah, there. but uh, like, like he wasn't—he he wasn't really in the episode. He, he came in at the begin, at the end, really, not at the beginning. They showed the, the women he was interviewing throughout, but he only showed yeah. up himself at the end. But yeah, he's basically looking for a woman, a wife, so that he could rebrand himself as, I guess, wholesome to get back into the seven. Um, and that's pretty much his story right now. Uh. But yeah, I, I I talked about this last episode that didn't go up, but I don't. He kind of takes me out the show, like with like. I don't know. It's just some of, some of the things surrounding him just seem like terrible, like the whole <laughs> scene where he was talking to his gills. That I, I didn't like that shit at all. I was like, that's that's whack, man. Take that out. Uh, how do you feel about him overall? I think he's comedic relief, basically. Because everything else is in the show is like blood and guts and racism and death and fucking like all this other shit. And he's just like, everybody hurts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, ha- he has his moments where it's funny, but it's like sometimes it's just like, come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. I, I-, I like his storyline. I think he's funny. <laughs> I mean, I like uh, I like the new dude they introduced last uh, in like the last couple of episodes. You know, the eagle guy. What's his name? Eagle the Archer. Eagle the Archer. Yeah, I liked. I liked him. Yeah. He was funny. Uh, <laughs> What's uh, up with the fresca, dude? Like, why were they 
trying to give him fresco all the time. What you you notice by, that? What you mean by fresco? The drink. Oh, oh, you're right. Mm, you, damn, you're right. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> they do show. It's, I don't. It, yeah, yeah, that I was so even, weird. Like, is it, is it like a uh, drink for some reason? <laughs> is it like product placement or some shit? I don't know. Or yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with their cult. Maybe, maybe it has something, uh, some other significance. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, you were all right about that. They keep bringing that drink up. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know at all. <laughs> but I yeah I don't know I don't know if this is this a uh, wedding or this wife will help him get back into the seven because uh, everybody knows he a fuck up man everybody knows he's like one of the worst members of the group and I don't think Homelander will have any of that he he'll, the only way he can get back into the seven is if he convinces Homelander uh that he deserves to be back I don't see that happening at all unless he goes behind Homelander's back and talks to the people on the uh. The 62nd floor or some shit. I forgot. The 82nd floor. The 99th <laughs> floor. The 99th floor. Those people. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, I don't I don't see like Homeland and just letting him back in. Because he's a fuck nah, up. He's too problematic. He's a complete fuck up. And he's like not even necessary to the sudden. Like he has really no superpowers that are useful. Yeah, he only useful in the water. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't seen him do any type of combat no yeah we haven't seen him do any type of combat or fighting in the water we just seen him like control fish and shit like animals <laughs> in the water and he always gets gets those animals killed so he doesn't even use them to a great effect they're just there to die they're, they're just fodder like that they're, <laughs> they're the only thing <laughs> that huey and the boys can kill so right i don't <laughs> i don't see his purpose or his use in the story at all uh, well, it, like you said, he's just there for you know comedy, like for gags and shit, and yeah. that's fine. But just don't go overboard with it. Like, again, that Gil scene was terrible. That shit lasted way too long, man. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to somebody else here. What else is there to talk about? Oh, also, one major thing happened. Uh, Homelander knows about Maeve. Ooh. They were, they were doing like a talk show. And the host of the talk show was asking him about the diversity of the seven. It's not, it's not very diverse. You know, uh, the seven. So what did, what did she, she say? Superheroes so white or the seven so white or some shit? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> uh, shit. In, in, in reference to like the, uh, the Oscar so white incident. I've got, I've got the person that created that hashtag, but that was in reference to that. And yeah. Homelander brings up May's relationship, her lesbian relationship with this uh with this Latina. And uh spicy white. Spicy <laughs> spicy relationship. Well, why we say we just say it's spicy cuz she's Latina. That's the only reason. Yeah, she's spicy white. Like every time <laughs> spicy says, Oh, I'm Latina. You spicy white. <laughs> spicy white. <laughs> That's what we call it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he he seems more upset that uh she didn't tell the truth about their relationship. Not so much that he's jealous. I think he might be over everybody. He might be over like certain types of relationships. Cause I mean, he's a man with many relationships and like he, he has many mother figures, <laughs> women that he's, he relies mm -hmm. on to he keep him calm. Issues. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it, it seems like he's letting all of that go. I mean, he brought he brings it up, but he doesn't really say he's gonna do anything about it. You know? So maybe he won't kill her and her girl. Uh <laughs> I guess. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. He <laughs> didn't seem like entirely happy about it. But like the fact that he outed her probably wasn't a good thing. I don't I mean he outed her <laughs> uh publicly. I mean I mean I get I don't know. I mean it's it's, I think it is good for her. She don't got to keep that shit hidden. And uh, yeah. if she can go scissor with a girl all she want. Because, I mean, Homelander already knows. Bush. Look, Bush. Man, <laughs> Homelander already knows. So she ain't got to hide it no more. She can go She can go eat the box as much as she want, man. Wow. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> Look, man. Really? The really seven needs guy. diversity. They need, to, <laughs> they need a gay character. And Maeve is that, man. Maeve is that. You know what? Yeah. 
Hopefully they can uh, make Wonder Woman gay too, man. It's cool, man. <laughs> oh, I don't think uh, our boy Philly would be too happy about that. <laughs> you know how he feels about he's a white queen. Uh, yo, Wonder Woman is a queen, man. Look, that's the she top tier, man. She peak white woman, man. Wonder Woman. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no about Wonder Woman. Let's talk about Maeve. Uh, any anything else you want to say about Maeve in the situation? Uh, the the outcome of it. Homelander yeah. is way more powerful than her, but she needs to get some people on her side and use her resources to put him in his fucking place. Like, you can't go around being afraid of a bitch-ass nigga who drinks titty milk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know with drinking titty milk. Stop it. That's not, that's not my particular drink, you know, but... You know, I, I I don't think you less manly if you want some titty milk, man, every now and then. Man. It's not about being manly. It's, it's about being <laughs> fucking creepy and weird. Like, that's just I weird. mean, it is weird the way he drank it. Like, he, he, like, he stick your tongue in first and he just be... He, just he make all nasty types of sounds and shit drinking it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you got but, a weird but, relationship but, with titty milk. By the way, uh, where did he get that titty milk from? Did he did he milk? No uh, idea. Did he milk doppelganger? Oh, uh, <laughs> <Still> whale's body. <laughs> Would that even taste the same? I have no. I don't know how doppelganger's powers work. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. But, um, <laughs> that's weird. Either way, it's gross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I so, mean, yeah. look, look. But I do agree with you that like I, I'm tired of other members in the seven being afraid of homelander like yeah y'all need to woman and man up and at least try to fight yeah. this motherfucker like he 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 got uh he got starlight in the elevator it's about to yeah. kill her ass because uh you know because she didn't kill huey in a timely manner <laughs> or at all <laughs> you know he he knows that something is up with that um she kind of plays it off but he was about to kill her ass he was about to put his fucking hand through her body but uh, she manages to get away from that. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just tired of them like being pussy, man. They need to, <laughs> they need to do something, man. They they have powers mm. too. I know he's almighty, but like, come on, come on, man. Be like Stormfront, right. man. Come on, be like that. Racist I think Stormfront <laughs> isn't afraid of anybody because she's been around for so fucking long. She's probably so powerful. Yeah, I mean, and she knows she can talk her way out of things. And she she's, yeah. she's capable of manipulating people. Um. Oh, one of the things was uh, weird that happened this episode was uh, your boy Black Noir. Right? What what is this? Did what is he up to, man? Hey, he. Oh, you know, we missed. You know, we butcher. missed. Yeah, huh. we just, I forgot about that. We didn't talk about Butcher yet. That's the last thing here. So butcher, Black Noir is black. I didn't realize that. Is he? I mean, yeah, they. I don't know. He said we have a Black Noir. He didn't say that he was necessarily black. He was just being facetious but the actual actor who plays black noir is black so that, that is confirmed the actor that plays him is black yep okay okay I, I thought i heard that somewhere i don't know so i mean we'll see we'll see if th- that's the actual person that's playing him and not just the nigga in the costume and when he take that motherfucker <laughs> off <laughs> it's another right. dude hey. so and you can't tell because you don't ever say nothing so. <laughs> hopefully they he, it stays that way uh yeah but yeah, the butcher this episode, um, he kind of leaves the group. He leaves the group to uh, run away with his girl, Becca. He ends up meeting up with her. Uh, what's that lady name that works that used to work for the CIA? Uh, it starts with an R. Oh, I fucking forgot. Not a, not not Rainer. Uh, the uh, the other one, the one with the blonde hair. Oh, the older lady. Yeah, the older lady. Uh. Forgot. I forget. I mean, but even even though the plan didn't go well last episode, she still decides to uh, help Butcher out and tells him where his uh his his wife is. And um, he meets up with his wife, and you know they make they have sweet passionate sex or whatever, and wow. they wow, wow. <laughs> they come up with this plan to run away together. And Becca wants to take Ryan, uh, Homelander's son. But we all know that Butcher hates heroes. So <laughs> that don't really go so well. He agrees to it at first. But she then later on realizes that this nigga's crazy. He has anger <laughs> issues. And I don't think 
that he'll be okay with uh, Ryan going because he's a superhero and that he's a kid. Mm-hmm. And um, and she's she's kind of right on that. And he he brings up a good point. He, he he finally admits that he doesn't want to take the kid with them as well, because you know the kid is worth a lot. Um, and I don't think that Vault would just let they're not gonna the, let him go. Just let that kid go. So he kind of brings up right. a good point. Um, so they're not in a good spot right now. Their relationship is uh. It's not as good as it should be due to that. Um, and uh, how, how did that scene end? I forgot how that scene end. Did they uh just did they just figure out what they were gonna do? Is she staying? I think she's staying. Yeah, now. she's staying. Okay. And uh, I guess, I'm guessing Butcher might go back to the boys. <laughs> the crew yeah. might be back together. The boys. <laughs> they spend some I'm time back apart. Back to the boys. Exactly. They spent some time apart this episode, but they uh they they linked up now. Um. And I think that's that's pretty much it. I think that's everything. Uh, I'm trying to. That's pretty much all the key moments that happened this episode. Um, mm-hmm. Anything else you want to say? Any predictions for next week? Um, I think that uh, Homelander and Stormfront join forces and become the leaders of the new fascist America. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're gonna make superheroes yeah. great again. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I fuck with that. That that might be that might happen, yeah. I mean not might, it will happen because we saw the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> But yeah, I I, I want to see how far that relationship goes. Uh, I wanna see if he'll fully begin to trust her. Um and uh, what is her what is her plan? We know that she used to be uh Lady Liberty. Um why is she here now? What what is her true mission? What is she trying to do? Does she work for the people on the top floor as like some infiltration into like uh, the seven? Is she just hired there to manipulate things? What is her complete mission? Because I mean, she's not just there to be there. Right. She's obviously she was hiding for, for how long? Decades, and she just pops up out of nowhere. Exactly. So yeah, we need to figure that out. And will she completely take over and control Homelander? You know, he has issues with. No, older women just conquer him, man. He just, yeah. he's weak to older women. So, uh, we don't know. If she, she might become another Steelwell with powers. That's just <laughs> controlling his ass. So That might be a good thing because, I mean, he does need uh, somebody to put him in his place. And she seems to be the one to do it. Yeah, he is, he is crazy. He, he is uh, crazy as hell, man. So, yeah, we'll see. But uh, that's that's pretty much it, man. How do y'all feel in the comment section below? Do you like this new format? Do we miss anything? Um, by the way, we doing Lovecraft Country tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, nothing is wrong with the audio and everything goes <laughs> through. Because we did record that episode as well. But that didn't get uploaded either. Um, but yeah, uh, there's some interesting thing about the, the next week's episode of uh, Lovecraft. Uh I saw a bunch of theory videos on it, and people were saying that uh, they're going to turn uh, Ruby uh, white. She's going to get to be a white woman for a day, man. I can see that happening. I think um, Christina and William are the same person, and when William met with Ruby, he put a spell on her. Yeah. You know, do the thing. That's and... cr- Christina out here like a <laughs> doppelganger, man. She a freak, man. She's just fucking everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, Christine, I see you. But uh yeah, <laughs> that is it, man. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>